Welcome back, Seth Bling here. There are a lot of opinions on the right way to build a wheat farm, and I wanted us to know what was right and what was wrong, so I did what any good scientist would do. I ran an experiment. And basically what we've got here is a bunch of plots of farmland uh, with every single possible pattern of a 3x3 three three square repeated. So if you look at like a 3x3 three three square, this one just has one in the bottom left corner, that's repeated. Uh, here's a different 3x3 three three square, it's like this is this square and it's repeated over and over. Every single possible one, there are some duplicates, but every, every possible one is represented, even one that's just water. And basically the experiment is I just started them all growing at the same time and I looked at what happened. Uh, I've stopped the experiment, well not stopped, I've I have a checkpoint in the experiment right now because the first plot has grown, uh, the, the first plot with every single wheat grown has appeared and any guesses at which one? It turns out it's actually this plot right here. <laughs> Kinda crappy. Um, yeah, this is the first one done although I wouldn't really read too much into it. I know there's a plot over here. This is a pretty common setup. A lot of people like to think that this is the fastest way to grow wheat. Uh, but you know what? If we look over at some of the more populated plots, even a plot like this, which just has one hole per 3x3 three three square with water in it, uh, these plots are doing pretty well. Like They're almost all the way grown as someone who's taking college level statistics classes, I wouldn't read too much into the fact that this one over here popped up first as the first one with all the wheat grown. Just because the fact that it has fewer wheat means that it's less likely that one or two stragglers are going to keep the entire population behind. Uh, I mean, it, it, I, I think if I had grown as many, uh, as many blocks of wheat in this pattern as I did in either you know this pattern or the rows over here. I think if there were as many plots or as many blocks of wheat in each of these I think they would finish about the same time. So I, I really wouldn't read too much into it. I guess the the conclusion from this experiment is pretty much that it doesn't actually matter that much how you place your wheat. If you look at pretty much any of these, there are some that have a little bit less, but they're mostly all the way done. And I, I don't think that there's really a significant difference between most of these different ways of planting wheat. Now there are some things to consider, like this one doesn't have any water in it. It's getting a little bit of water from the neighbor plots, but mostly it's dry and this is actually uh, very far behind. So having some water does matter. I don't think the amount of water matters too much as long as all the all the spots are wet. Uh, it looks like this one's almost done too. It just needs one or two more. Um, I did I did also record which one was the first plot to grow any wheat at all, and I think it was yeah it was this plot. Uh, this was the first plot to grow any wheat. It's kind of random. It's just like I said. I, I I don't think that there's a very significant difference between the different different plots, which is kind of interesting. I I think. We all had these strong opinions about what the right way to grow wheat was and that you needed a certain pattern. And like I said, a lot of people thought it was this pattern, but really my advice to you is to actually go with something, well, if you're looking for something space efficient, something like this is definitely the way to go because you're gonna grow a lot more wheat in a, in a lot less amount of time. If you have an unlimited amount of seed, which a lot of people do, it's pretty easy to gather up a lot of seed. Just as much, as much wheat as you can uh, with as little water as you can, I think is the fastest way to grow wheat. If, if you're limited in seed, I still think this is a, a very good way to go. Just because it's the easiest, it's the least time consuming to actually build a farm like this. And so, uh, I don't think you need to go with the row thing. I think you can just do just do this sort of thing. You know, maybe put lily pads down on all the patches of water so you can walk on it, but it's a very simple farm and I think it's actually just about as effective as you're going to get. You might actually consider using a little bit less water, but uh, yeah. So interesting results, and I'm kind of glad I ran this experiment because uh, I didn't I didn't think it was going to turn out like this, but it, I'm I'm happy that I know that it did. So if you want to download the MC Edit filter that I use to create all these plots, I, I didn't do this by hand. I did it automatically, of course, and so you can download that from the link in the video description.
and thanks for watching. Thank you.